Hi guys, it's Julie, and today we're going to be practicing side plank or bossy tossana in Sanskrit. So this is a really great arm balancing pose, especially for beginners because it's a great foundational pose to help build full body strength while also preparing you for other arm balancing poses. So you won't need any kind of props today for this pose unless you would like to use a strap and I'll give you that option a little bit later in this tutorial. Otherwise, I'll meet you back on your mat in a moment and let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to be coming into this pose from our regular plank position first. So we want our wrists to be directly aligned underneath our shoulders and then our feet are going to come straight out in front of us coming onto our toes creating a nice long line of energy from the heels of our feet to the crown of our head. Now I want to mention really quickly before we go straight into this pose that side plank is not exactly considered a beginner's pose, although I will give you a modification, but a really great way to help build up your muscles and to also help protect your shoulder girdle from being injured is to create a really strong foundation in your plank pose first. And then whenever you're ready, moving on to side plank. Now, a great modification for this pose, coming onto our right side first, will be to lower that right knee down towards the mat, rolling onto our right side onto the inner edge of our left foot, and then bringing that left arm up towards the sky. Now, for the full variation of side plank, coming back into our plank pose first, we want to make sure that that right arm is firmly placed on the mat and we're going to slowly roll onto our right side. Now we have the option here to either layer your feet one in front of the other or you have the option to stack your feet one on top of the other or you have the option to also raise your left leg and grab a hold of your big toe. But we will get into that option in a moment. First, we're going to check in with our shoulders first. So you see how my right shoulder is pushing away from the mat and I'm not dropping my hips? This can be really dangerous for the shoulder area. So what we want to do is we want to make sure our right shoulder is pushing away from the earth and we're creating a nice strong shoulder and raising those hips. Then we're going to take that left arm up and this is your full version of side plank. Now, if you want to take this pose just another step farther, because there are so many different variations to side plank, then what you're going to do is you're going to slowly begin to raise that left leg up off the mat, bringing that left foot and balancing it on the inner edge of that right leg, coming into a tree pose variation here. Now, if you want to take this just another step farther, you're welcome to use a strap if you have one available to you, or you can just go ahead and grab a hold of your big toes, just depending on your arm length and whatever is comfortable for you. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap that strap around your left toes, coming back into your side plank, and then you're gonna slowly begin to raise that left foot, straightening out that left leg. And you're gonna hold here for about 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the other side just to save a little bit of time for this video. Coming back into our plank pose, moving on to the left side now, we're gonna ground that left hand down into the mat, and then we're gonna slowly begin to roll onto the left side, rolling onto the outer edge of that left foot. Checking in with our shoulder, we want to have our left shoulder directly aligned over our left wrist, pushing that shoulder away from the earth, raising those hips. Now you have the option to either stack your feet on top of one another, or you can layer one in front of the other if that is what's most comfortable for you. And then you're going to raise that right arm, straightening it out, creating a nice long line of energy from the left fingertips down to the right. Now if you want to take this just another step farther, you're going to slowly begin to raise that left foot up off the ground. 
balancing your left foot on the inner edge of that right leg. Or you can go ahead and grab a hold of your big toes and slowly begin to straighten out that right leg. Holding here for about 30 seconds. That is going to be it for this week's poses and preps, guys. And I'll see you back on your mat next week.